differently. Now, if it gets a little long, I will be quickly going through. Parents don't get alarmed if it sounds like doing. She does not. Okay. Can everybody see? Yeah. And you know what we're gonna make today? Mm -hmm. yeah. What? No. What? What? No. Today we're gonna make mittens. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Little mittens. Okay. That's what we'll be making today. All right. Mitten tree. What color are her mittens? Blue. Blue. What color is her coat? Blue. Blue. What color is her hat? Blue. 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 Wow. Now, let's see what happens. I've never heard of a mitten tree before. Yeah. I have it either. I always have a yeah. A maple tree? A maple tree, I've heard of a maple tree, but not a mint tree. Okay. At the end of a long lane, in a tidy little house, lived Sarah alone. Her children had grown up and moved away, but Sarah still remembered the mornings when she walked with them to the blue spruce tree where they waited for the school. Now each morning she opened her shutters and watched for new children to arrive. Now if you look closely, you can see Sarah. I'm going to come around so you can see her. She's peeking out the window over here where my finger is. Can you see her? Here she is, watching for children. I can't see her. A little white thing. I see her. Every chilly morning, Sarah pulled on her warm coat and started down the lane. As she walked past the children on her way to the mailbox, she wished they would smile or wave, but they never did. The children didn't even seem to notice her. Still, when she saw them, she couldn't help but smile. One winter morning, after the first snow had fallen, all the children were making snowmen and throwing snowball, snowballs, except for one little boy in a blue cap. Even his boots were dark, or a dark shade of blue. He stood away from the others with his hands sunk deep in his pockets. When the school bus arrived, he lingered behind and was last in line. As Sarah watched the little boy climb into the bus, she could see one thing. He had no mittens. All that day, Sarah couldn't stop worrying about the little boy with no mittens. So late in the afternoon, as the sky grew dark, Sarah dug through the basket of yarn scrap that she had saved for many years. She found her needles and four shades of blue wool then Sarah began to knit. Sarah worked late into the night, and when the sun began to rise, she hurried to the bus stop and hung the mittens on the old blue spruce tree. From behind the hedge, Sarah watched. The little boy was the first to arrive. He saw the mittens. And he reached up and tried them on. With a big smile, he made a perfect snowball and threw it high into the winter sky. Soon, a little girl in a red coat arrived. Her mittens didn't match. And guess what Sarah did that night? She made some new mittens. Every day now, as Sarah went to the mailbox, she waited, she watched her children without knitting. Then she would hurry home and knit. Early in the morning, just like that, early in the morning, she would hang the new mittens on the tree. The children loved the game. Each day they would search under every branch and bow for another pair of mittens. Once or twice, Sarah thought about that boy, thought that the boy with the blue mittens had seen her. But he always looked away. Do you think they figured out who did it? Yeah. 
kids didn't know. Do you think they figured it out? Let's find out. Night after night, Sarah knitted mittens in every cup. Some had stripes and some had hearts. Some even had little snowflakes all over them. Somehow, though, she never had spoken to the children. Just Sarah felt they had come become her new family. Lena, what? You do? Good. I want gloves. We I all have gloves. Yes. I have gloves. You do? I have mittens. <laughs> nice. Mittens. Our gloves are very nice, aren't they? I have gloves. I have gloves. On the gloves. very last day before I winter vacation, Sarah awakened before dawn. She took the empty basket that had once held her yarn and filled it to the brim with Mittens, can you see her basket full? Out the door and down the steps she headed. When she got to the blue spruce tree, she hung mittens on every branch. Let's look at this. The boy with the blue mittens was the first to arrive. He stood very still and waited for the others. In fact, all the children stood very still. And for a few minutes, looking at the mysterious, beautiful mitten tree. Oh, Evie, did you have a question? I have mittens. You know what? Let's I stop and find out. Mittens. Who has mittens? Raise your hand. Me. Me. Who has gloves? Raise your Me. hand. Me. What's the difference between mittens and gloves? They have very good. That is right. That is so good. So if you have mittens, your fingers stay together, don't they, like that? But if you have gloves, what do your fingers look do inside? They open up like that, don't they? That's really cool. Good job. Let's finish the story and then we're going to make our own mittens, okay? Good. So here are the children looking at the tree, covered in mittens, all sorts of colors. When they boarded the bus, each child now wore a new pair of mittens. Sarah watched as one by one their faces appeared in the bus window. Still, no one looked her way. She started home. This sounds like a sad story, doesn't it? But Sarah's heart was full. It was as full as when the sounds of her own children had filled her house. She was just happy to do it for them. As Sarah neared her porch and climbed the steps, she saw something waiting for her. There in the corner was a basket woven with thick brown vines and decorated with a huge white bow. In it were balls and balls a beautiful, colorful yarn. Oh. Yeah, I think, I think so. To this day, Sarah knits mittens for all the children in her town. And every time her basket is empty, a new full one appears. Sarah doesn't know who the yarn is for. And the children still don't know who the mittens are from. But some mittens. Is that a nice story? Yeah. yeah. Someone knitted mittens for kids just because she wanted to. And then she was given a gift too, wasn't she? She got new yarn. I think that's a great story. So.